Today, we've got some major news from Nintendo, and it's looking like 2021 is going to be quite interesting and could be pretty lackluster. So today, Nintendo had their earning calls, and they discussed a lot of information from the Nintendo Switch Pro to their multiplayer online services to confirmed games that are coming out. They officially released the sales number for the Nintendo Switch, and that right there might shock you. So without further delay, let's get into the video. So Nintendo really dropped the ball on the Nintendo Switch Pro rumors, and during the financial call for Nintendo's latest financial results on February 1st, Nintendo's president said the company isn't planning on making any announcement anytime soon. Nintendo's president Furukawa noted the upcoming Mario Edition Switch and the Monster Hunter bundle as something they are currently focused on. An announcement may not be there, but the door isn't necessarily closed for the Nintendo Switch Pro or any upgraded console. This is what every business does. Nintendo's done it in the past and they're doing it this time as well. They've got two big console bundles that they're releasing and they don't want to ruin their earnings for those consoles, especially if they're going to go around and announce another one at the same time. It's going to hinder the sales and they're not trying to do that. So this is completely normal. According to a Bloomberg reporter, they pointed out how Furukawa said that Nintendo wasn't planning on releasing an upgraded Switch model in the year 2020, where the statements made February 1st simply said, not anytime soon. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this actually excites me because this does confirm the existence of a new Nintendo Switch console. They specifically stated that they're not going to announce anything anytime soon. Obviously, common knowledge dictates that we will get another Nintendo Switch, but this confirms that we're not going to be getting it anytime soon. But even then, that's a diversion tactic for them to get people to purchase the Mario Bundle Switch in the Monster Hunter Rise bundle. Now, it's also worth mentioning that Nintendo is certainly a company that likes to announce things and drop them as soon as possible. The Nintendo Switch didn't exist in the public eye until October 2016 and was released just five months later in March of 2017. So Nintendo can easily wait just a few more months to solidify game announcements and totally drop a bomb on their whole fan base. With that being said as well, the Mario Edition Switch releases on February 12th alongside Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury and Monster Hunter that releases March 26th. After those two, you could say it's fair game to start thinking about the Switch Pro, but we will have to wait and see what Nintendo does as they're keeping things behind closed doors for the time being. Now, I personally think we're going to be getting some information soon, but it's looking like March or April could be the latest that we actually get anything. The next big news that we're going to be talking about in this earnings call is Nintendo is finally upgrading their servers. Since the Wii U and the 3DS days, Nintendo has been using a server infrastructure called NEX. To put it in perspective, NEX is about 20 years old, though Nintendo has only been using it for about 10 years. From the reports that we're seeing is Nintendo is going to be ditching the NEX system to a new one called NPLN. And apparently Monster Hunter Rise is the first title to make use of it for the public. According to Twitter user Thomas NetMC, NPLN is a preview phase at the moment and Monster Hunter demo allowed Nintendo to see how it performed under load. It's really funny because I just talked about the Nintendo Switch Online services in my last video and I was talking about how horrendous they are. But it's looking like this could be a game changer for the Nintendo Switch. They're finally updating their servers. Which means the days of disconnecting in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or server lag in Smash Bros or just the horrendous play that is Mario Maker Online could be coming to an end very soon. Now, another big news, the Nintendo Switch has officially outsold the 3DS. According to the quarter three 2021 results that Nintendo just released to the public, the Nintendo Switch has now sold over 79.87 million units worldwide, which is actually incredible just before the four year anniversary of the console this upcoming March. It did that with data being tracked only going up to December 31st of 2020. Even with the December 31st date, the Nintendo Switch easily surpassed the 3DS, which sold 75.94 million units. The next thing on the list for the Nintendo Switch to surpass would be the Game Boy Advance, which sits at 81.51 million units. Which, given that it's already the first week of February, there's a giant chance the Nintendo Switch has already done that. Another massive achievement that the Switch recently achieved in the sales department is selling more units sold in a single quarter than the Wii ever did. According to Nintendo's most recent financial data release, the Nintendo Switch managed to sell 11.57 million units in a single quarter, which is an actual crazy amount of things considered. Throughout the Wii's lifespan, it never managed to reach that figure. To put it into perspective, the Wii sold a grand total of 101.63 million units worldwide. The only other platformer in Nintendo's existence to do these numbers before is the Nintendo DS. And that platform only went live with 11.57 million in a quarter 
twice in its entire lifespan. The Nintendo DS managed to sell 154 million units and is the second most sold platform of all time behind the PlayStation 2 and it's the most sold handheld platform. What I find funny is I posted a tweet on the day of release for the Nintendo Switch and I tweeted out that the Nintendo Switch will outsell the Wii. Now it hasn't done it yet, but it's on the right path to outsell the Wii and maybe even the PlayStation 2. Now that might be a bold prediction, but I think it's gonna happen. Now this next one appears to solely just be a rumor, but the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild listed to be released in the second quarter of 2021, according to an Australian retailer. An Australian retailer by the name of Gameware stated that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will be released in the second quarter of 2021. The retailer does have credit for correctly predicting in leaking the release date of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, but it is currently not confirmed whether this information is true or not as Nintendo still hasn't stated a release date for the game. Another piece of information that we've been speculating for quite some time is what the sequel to the Breath of the Wild will be called. And well, on the GameWare site, it's listed as just Breath of the Wild 2 and even provides box art for the game as well. So whether it's just called Breath of the Wild 2 or anything else, what do you think? Should it have its own name or should it just be simple and call it Breath of the Wild 2 or the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Next up, we have Apex Legends official season eight starts on February 2nd. And during the time of this recording, there's a possibility that the game is already on the Nintendo Switch. On Twitter, a user by the name of US Bloomy asked Chad Greener, who is the Apex Legends game director, will we get a trailer tomorrow or news about the Nintendo Switch release? To which Chad replied with the answer yes to the tweet. Many rumors for the game regarding cross progression have been floated around for anyone that has been playing the game already and want to venture on the Nintendo Switch. With the start of Season 8, it's the perfect time for Respawn Entertainment to drop the game on the Switch, especially right before a huge month ahead for Nintendo. Well, guys, that is going to wrap it up with this major news update regarding the Nintendo Switch. If you guys liked it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys all once again for watching. This has been Wes, and I will talk to you on the next video.